Welcome to Getting to KOA, RV tips, tricks, and trade secrets for the RV traveler from Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Today we're going to tackle an RV floor covering do-it-yourself project. The original floor in the RV is showing some age and we thought it would be a fun weekend project to replace it. When it was time to decide on a new floor covering, we wanted something that was rated for commercial traffic but looked good too. After some research, I found Infinity Luxury Woven Vinyl. Infinity LWV products are popular in the marine industry and they are making a presence in the RV industry too. Infinity offers over 15 separate collections of luxury woven vinyl products in more than 100 colors. We decided on the seagrass collection because it highlights some of the RV's interior treatments. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install Infinity LWV flooring in the RV. The first step of the pre-installation process was to determine where we wanted the new flooring and then remove the existing flooring, which in this case includes carpet and vinyl. With that done, we can start on the installation. It's important to note when you work on this product it must be rolled face out with the cushion in. Do not crease the fabric at all. The warranty could be voided if it's rolled wrong, creased, or if the product was cut, fitted, or installed. Let's get started on the installation. Before cutting the fabric, check the following. Product quality, color, style, and dimensions. Preparing the floor for installation. The floor must be smooth, clean, flat, and dry with no dirt, dust, wax, glossy paint, or any other foreign materials. Sand on even surfaces smooth or fill in gaps as needed. When filling gaps with a latex fortified Portland cement underlayment, a primer or sealant should be applied over the cement to ensure successful adhesion. Glossy or metallic surfaces should be sanded to dull the surface. Installing luxury woven vinyl on floors. This product has a vinyl backing and must be installed using a solvent free latex resin adhesive that works with vinyl. Adhesive should also be non-flammable and freeze-thaw stable. Adhesive and woven vinyl must be acclimated on site. The minimum temperature should be no less than 65 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours before, during, and after the installation. The product should be spread flat and laid open for up to 30 minutes before applying it to the floor. I decided the best way to get accurate cuts was to make a template. The best template I could think of was to carefully remove the old carpet and use it as a pattern. Now I can lay the template on the woven vinyl product and make my cuts. Always cut the product from the face side of the fabric using scissors or a utility knife. If you use a utility knife, use a new blade for each cut. Dull blades can damage the product or produce rough edges. Next, you want to apply the adhesive directly to the floor using a trowel. The proper trowel notch will achieve a 100% transfer of wet adhesive to the fabric. Recommended trowel specs are 1 8 by 1 8 by 1 8 V notch. I am applying adhesive on half of the floor now and when the fabric is in place on that side, I will do the opposite end. Allow the adhesive time to get tacky before placing the woven vinyl. Do not allow the adhesive to dry or develop a skin. You can pull the woven vinyl back periodically to check the proper adhesive transfer. You can use a paint roller or similar tool to remove air bubbles and to ensure the fabric made good contact with the floor. Use scissors or a razor knife to trim edges as required. You can clean up any wet adhesive with soapy water and a soft bristle brush. Blot the area dry with a clean towel. Dried adhesive should be removed with an adhesive remover. After I cut the woven vinyl using my template, we dry fit the product and trimmed all of the edges to fit. This do-it-yourself RV flooring project turned out great and we couldn't be happier with the Infinity Luxury Woven Vinyl Flooring. 
Our new flooring should last a lifetime in the RV. If you're not comfortable doing this kind of job in your RV, find a professional installer to do it for you. Happy camping.